Hi, Julie Jones from SSB Performance Smarter, Stronger, Better Mindset Training here with this week's Mindset Made Simple Tip of the Week brought to you by Game Day Sportswear on location again. This time, St. Augustine, Florida, a beautiful morning for a run out here on the beach. But this week, we're talking about transitions. Transitioning back from all of this vacation that I've been on, like never in my life, don't think this is normal for me, to school starting. Transitions from summer to fall. Transitions from living at home to living on campus. Transitions, they're inevitable. My mom hated the end of summer. She said that it was because she hated us going back to school. She loved having us at home. I think it's because she loved the sun. But that thought is such a sweet thing to think about. All the other parents were rushing their kids out to get to school and hear the bells ring and my mom was sad. It made her sad that we were gonna be back in school. Such a nice thought to think about here at the beach seven years after we lost her but transitions are hard for everyone, whether it's going back to school or wanting your kids to go back to school. There's anxiety, there's fear, there's all kinds of things. The other night I was driving, riding around with my sister and her kids start school tomorrow here in Florida and she was having anxiety for them going back to school. She hates transitions more than my mom. I would walk her to school and she would walk home. Every day was something new, a new transition and she's not but we all deal with transition. Everyone that's coming to you this year, whether they're new, whether they're a senior, doesn't make any difference. We're all going to have a new role, a new expectation for ourselves. They're gonna have different expectations of you as a leader and transitions are hard. We don't like them. Our brain doesn't like change, even if that change is going to make us better. So how do we manage transitions? first thing that we need to understand is transitions are often uncomfortable. They bring up a lot of emotion. We try to hold on to what was there. I always told my players, you can't pass college math with your high school math skills. When you get to college, you can't pass college softball with your high school softball skills. But those are really, really hard to let go. And we often get ourselves into a negative mindset and we take a lot of time to look around and find why this won't work to prove to ourselves or to prove to others so we get into that negative mindset. How do we get out of that? How do we manage transitions better? If we can look for ways that we can succeed, little ways, any way, what can we do well here? What is it that gives us an opportunity to accomplish something? And we start to write those down. And then we start to think about all of the skills and all of the experience that we have had in the past that will help us as we meet all these new challenges that come our way. If we can look for ways to win, whatever win means, how can we succeed? And then what have we done in the past that proves that we can do this? Granted, we can't use the same skills, but we learned those skills. At one point, we didn't have those skills either. Now it's time to learn new skills, whether those are communication skills, whether those are math skills, whether those are hitting skills or shooting skills, whatever it is. We had old ones that we can build upon and ones that helped us make, successful, make us successful and we can use those to continue to grow. That's one way. The second way that we can help manage our tra transitions is to figure out what is it in this new environment or situation that we can control? What are the little things we can control? What are the small, little experiences that we can go and manage? Research in nursing homes found that residents who were able to arrange their furniture as they wanted, someone, those same residents that had a plant that was given to them, if they were allowed to water it and nurture it, if they were allowed to go and talk to whoever they wanted to, they lived longer than those who were told that the staff was there to take care of them. Those people watered their plants, those people arranged their furniture, and they lived significantly longer. The people who had some autonomy, some control, a perceived feeling of control, lived longer. Feeling in control is very important. It helps us live longer, it helps us feel more comfortable, it makes us more consistent. All of these things help us find success. And lastly, we can go back to more old people research and realize that when we feel stressed, 
When we're in a new situation, we often isolate. And that is not what this situation demands if we want to be successful. Research of the elderly show that those who care for others, whether that's really caring for them or just showing emotional support or go out and help people, those people live 57% longer than older people who do not do this. That's huge. If building relationships and making connection helps us live longer, we know that that is the one factor that supersedes all other healthy factors in our longevity is strong relationships. If building relationships and helping others can help us live longer, it certainly can help us manage our transitions more effectively. So all this research on the elderly is not so far off from the research that we need to share with our freshmen or our new employees or whoever it is that is coming into a new situation or our fifth year seniors that have been there that are gonna be different now because they have a different role. Change is hard, transitions are scary. For whatever reason, whether it's because you love the sun you hate to see summer go or because you love your children and want them to be home with you, it doesn't make any difference. Transitions are scary, but if we can find ways to win, to find success, find ways to stack little wins, find ways to control little things and then take on new experiences and find ways to build connection and help others. Helping others is a great way to diffuse pressure. We already know that from presser research. The other thing that we can do is go out and help people. We know that being helpful and makes us more grateful and being more grateful helps us be healthier and it increases our immune system. All those things, it's all good. And finally, if we can just stop in the midst of the transition, this isn't right, this isn't good, looking for negative things sets us off on the bad path, it sets us up for failure. It's what we would like to do. But if we can stop and think right now, am I suffering? I'm certainly not suffering right now. I can think of ways to suffer as I run back to our condo on the beach and I'm sweating to death. I can think of ways to suffer, but oh my gosh, that's a horrible thing to be thinking about. But if we think about what's going on right now in this minute, life's probably pretty good. It's when we start to build that story. We suffer more from the stories we tell ourselves than we do from the actual events that we go through. We know that to be true. But if we can look and say, am I okay right now? And appreciate the fact that yes, I'm okay right now. And if you ask yourself that in five minutes, you're probably gonna have the same answer. And if you ask yourself in five minutes, you're probably gonna have the same answer again. Does that mean that hard things don't come? No. But the stories we tell ourselves is what makes us suffer not what's going on right now. So all of these ways can help all of us have better transitions as we go into a new academic year. I hope that you'll share these with those that you lead, and I hope that you will check out all my blogs at ssbperformance.com backslash blog, Mindset Made Simple Tips. Reach out to me, I'd love to come in and work with your group. I'm actually back in Ohio very soon, for good, one vacation a year from here on out. I look forward to working with your team and helping your team grow. Have a great week and until next week, manage your transitions and manage the moment.